This video was sponsored by EA. All views are 100% our own. Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a special early access look at The Sims 4 Laundry Day Stuff Pack. This new stuff pack is coming to the game on Tuesday, January 16th, so thank you so much to EA, the game developers, for letting us take a look at the pack early and share it with you guys. So let's get straight into it. First of all, we're going to take a look at some of the new clothes that come out with this stuff pack. We have Abigail modeling, one of the new tops right here. We'll then show the male stuff after that with Jamie, her long-term boyfriend from our Eden Cho Let's Play series. Then we're going to show some actual laundry stuff, and these two are going to get busy by washing some clothes. Get busy. <laughs> I thought you washing were, clothes! I thought you were going to end that some, <laughs> some way else. So yeah, this top right here is one of the new ones. I think there are five tops, so I've given her five outfits for every day using each of the new tops. But right now I'm just cycling through the colors for this first variation, which is this peasant blouse. Off the shoulder, puffy sleeves, crop top. Very nice. I think that fits Abigail's personality really well. Yeah, she is this type of gal, I think. This is the kind of fashion she likes. So this is a top variation number two, and just cycling through some of the different colors and all of that. So some get the pattern around the neck, and others don't. This is what it looks like if you spin her about. Let's give cool. her that patterned version. You can see the pattern continues on the back. Tied off to one side, which is pretty cool look. I do like that look, definitely. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of these exposed bellies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so here is top number three. A few ruffles. I really like them. Yeah, and... look at this pack. All the clothes, I think, are pretty casual. Mm. Uh, yeah, for being about the house, doing your laundry, yeah. <laughs> going out to uh, the cafe to a nice you know, chic restaurant. Um, wait, wait, casual, but also going out to... I know, not chic, but, you know, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Hipstery. Hipstery. Oh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah, yeah. Especially with those slippers she's got on. Uh, those slippers, like, I can't remember what pack those are from, but they're not from this one. But these wedge sandals are. These right here, these are from... Nice. Yeah, so if you cycle through, you get different variations on the straps, which I think are really cute. Oh, I like this. This is like a two-tone strap there. Cool. I hadn't noticed that before. Two tones as well. And the other there female shoes that come with this pack are the ones right to their left. Yeah. The I, boots, which I think we'll see. We'll see them outfit. in another outfit, yeah, mm -hmm. as you said. And this is the top number four, by the way. So let's just get a look at some of those colors as well. So you get, you know, plain variations, and you also get pattern variations. And I think these are really cute. Look at that. I love the gradient color as well. What I want to say about this pack, the items in this pack might not come as that much of a surprise because this is the first pack in Sims 4 ever that was decided on by us, the players. Mm. We all voted on Laundry Pack and I think there were tons of votes about what specific items should be in the pack as well. So hopefully you all who took part in that are happy with how the pack turned out. This, by the way, is top number five. You saw me going through some of the colors. And this pair of jeans is also part of a laundry day pack with the belt slanting over to the side. I really like that. And that orange has got a bit of a 70s vibe, particularly with that belt. This orange? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice bold color. Yeah. All right. Maybe <laughs> I'll go for that color, though. A little more mustard yellow. And here are, again, those wedges that we saw before. Cool. Okay, so those are the everyday outfits that Abigail has shown off, and there is also one full body outfit which I've put into the party category. Yeah, full body. Cool. It's a look. It's interesting. Yeah. It's not my personal style, I would say, but I think I appreciate that they've gone for something a little bolder with all the different uh, cuts and colors to it. It looks comfy. Definitely looks comfy, yes. Yeah, and flowy. I like that the skirt has this unique cut up here and mm -hmm. the shoulders and the neckline have that bold cut as well. And as you're going through the different colors for this outfit, she's also got on leggings and boots and I think both of those are also from this pack. Yes, indeed they are. I will zoom in on the leggings momentarily. Kind of ribbed pattern there. The leggings obviously have their own color variations where there they, there are. they are. Yeah, so basically these are like thigh high leggings with a bit of warmth to them. <laughs> yeah, they look pretty thick. Yeah. 
And as you pointed out before, those boots are new. Let's choose. Yeah, go for that. And these are the boots. Kind of slouchy looking, but still slim fitting. So I think they work out really well with those tights. And they are shown off to their advantage by the unique cut of that skirt. Definitely. Okay, let's just go through. And I'm probably going to choose this color. Yeah. Nice. Alrighty, so those are Abigail's clothes from the Laundry Day Pack. We also have two new hairstyles. Here is a hairstyle number one, an updo with a bit of this going on. Well, a band. A band to keep the hair out your face while you're doing the laundry. <laughs> yeah. And here is hairstyle number two with this sort of clip in the back. To keep your hair out of the way while you do the laundry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So... So Abigail, as you might have noticed, has braids, and these hairstyles are unbraided, so it's a little unrealistic, I think, to have her switching out to these just on a moment's notice. Okay. But we just wanted to show you guys what the new hairstyles look like. Yeah, I think they're both nice haircuts. Okay, so we're going to check out Jamie, who is Abigail's domestic partner, boyfriend. His everyday outfits are a little more limited than hers, but we've got here one of the new tops. Yeah, it's pretty nice with the rolled up sleeves. Reminds me a little bit of James Dean. Certainly <laughs> yeah. if it came in white. <laughs> James Dean and also from uh, Back to the Future, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, love this. Love that. Yeah, it goes with the jeans as well. Yeah. The jeans are also, I think, from this pack. Yes, they are yeah. indeed. And those shoes also look like Back to the Future. They look like the you know self-lacing <laughs> Nikes that he wears in Back to the Future too. True. Those <laughs> shoes are not part of this pack, but these yeah. <laughs> ripped jeans definitely are. I'm going to show you really quick what is going on with Jamie's outfits every day. So every day, number one, this is old clothes, but every okay. day, number one, his jeans are fine. Next, every day two, they're a little more ripped. <laughs> every day three, they're a lot more ripped. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, his next everyday outfit using stuff from the pack is in everyday five so we have a longer sleeve roll-up version yeah but he's still rolled up so he can get his arms wet while he does the laundry yes indeed i'm obsessed with people wearing these clothes when they do the laundry because it's the laundry <laughs> stuff pack yeah i like all the different patterns that we get in the shirts and then you also get plain color variations i think cool. i'm gonna go for sure that one why not and he's calf length yeah. Pants. Are also part of the laundry day pack. These look good for doing yoga in, I think. Yeah. And just like relaxing. Just yeah. Just being relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Those are pretty colorful. Pretty colorful. The more colorful, the more they're good for the yoga studio. And I don't <laughs> know about outside. So those are the everyday versions of the laundry day stuff. And I think there's also one more thing that I've given him under party. And it's this shirt right here. Oh, uh, just the shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't get a dedicated outfit the way no. that Abigail did. Yeah, there's no full body outfits yeah. for adult male sins. <laughs> I like how, the, again, lots of, oh, wow. Ooh. Uh, that, is, that needs to be laundered. That's nice, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice effect. I like how it's a you know, messy look to it with you know, the yeah. buttons done up and off to one side. I mean, I wouldn't show up to a party wearing a shirt like that, but, you It's know. nice to have this kind of variation, though, for dressing your sims. Yeah, I might find a place to put that shirt mm -hmm. in another one of his outfits. Yeah. I think that'd be good. <laughs> he's a chef as well, so he's probably going to get <sighs> dirty. Mm, and that indeed. is white, so... Yeah. Okay, now there's also one hairstyle for men from this pack, which we're going to take a quick look at, but then we'll leave him with his normal hair... <laughs> Yeah, again, I think this is maybe not the style I would go for with Jamie, but just showing it off to you guys. It's pretty cool. I like the 3D effect at the back. It feels very textured and layered, yeah. which is great. They always do a good job with hair, I think. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I'm sure other people have their thoughts about it, especially people who like custom content and stuff, but mm -hmm. eh, I like it. Okay, so let's now go into the game and have these two playing around and hopefully making some messy clothes. We only showed you the adult sims clothes we believe from looking at the live stream there was also at least one toddler set of clothes but we we're not going to play with the toddlers today this is not a full review of literally everything in the pack but hopefully you're getting a good sense of what's available these guys are part of a let's play that we are in the middle of preparing and abigail in this let's play is going to be a vet and so she's shown up in her vet stuff yeah 
So how this pack works is if you have any laundry item on your lot, your Sims, when they change clothes, will generate piles of dirty clothes. Yeah, let's try it out with Abigail, who has changed out of her veterinarian outfit already. And let's change her into literally anything. That. She has the trait of being a slob, by the way. And whenever a slob changes clothes, from what I understand, they'll just drop their clothes on yeah. the ground. <laughs> Which is great for seeing that there are clothes. And you could see as you hovered over it, it showed the status of their clothes. <laughs> They're feeling flirty. She's just searched pockets, and she didn't find anything in there, unfortunately. I was hoping she would find money or something. Yeah. I'm going to just do a quick take the laundry to the hamper. Meanwhile, I'm going to have Jamie change clothes and see whether he drops anything on the ground floor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's going to change into his laundry stuff. Let's go and check out the laundry basket, because... His clothes should... There you go. Did you see that? Yeah, his clothes automatically went there. Because he's clothes. not a slob. Yeah. Abigail, Abigail. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Change outfit again and put that on. Now let's have her put her dirty clothes into her inventory. Yeah. Because we are going to show something hopefully cool. Yep. And should we do it once more maybe with her? See how many... Maybe she gets two lots of... Oh, uh, true. How many times is she going to drop her clothes on the ground because i think that's all she always will always do. she will always. never ever learn well she is searching her pockets let's go back to jamie and have him take the clothes out of a hamper okay okay good see she found cool coins. okay let's have jamie go and pick up this last piece of abigail's dirty laundry and as soon as he has some laundry of his own as his inventory we're going to send this happy couple away on vacation and where better to go on vacation than a laundry vacation <laughs> <laughs> laundry vacation <laughs> it's a vacation where you do laundry <laughs> i don't know why the relationship bars have gone down so <sighs> far is it just because we haven't used them in a while or is it because abigail's tossing her dirty clothes all around their apartment i think that would have the opposite effect <laughs> i think it may just be game updates often seem to mess yeah. up okay we are taking them on vacation to granite falls and the reason for this is going to become clear right now Wow, that's expensive. 430 per day. <laughs> it used to be cheaper. Yikes. Okay, so they're going to rent it for, let's say, two days just to be safe. Nice. Well, <laughs> Abigail is now a veterinarian, so she's got a bit of money coming in. Okay. Yeah. So this is a special lot that we have built especially for the laundry stuff pack. Mm -hmm. We have a speed build making of this house, so be sure to check that out in the description. But this house has as much as possible been built using all of the items that came with the laundry stuff pack, and there are a lot of them. Yes. And most importantly for our two beautiful Sims, <laughs> there are washing machines and scrubbing thingies so they can do laundry. Yay! Yay. Okay, so let's see. We're going to have maybe Abigail hopefully... Ooh, she can add a laundry additive. Add food. <laughs> this, is, this happens if you have food or flowers in your Sims inventory, mm -hmm. then you can add these to the laundry stuff. To so, have a nice effect. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's zoom in on this. And see what's going to happen. When you add flowers, it makes it all go sparkly. It when you makes add food. it sparkly and clean. Replace mm -hmm. water. I'm hoping that she... Ooh, nasty. Yeah, that Look is nasty. Look at that. This also happens to clothes that get really dirty, by the way. Yeah, we can't create dirty clothes so easily, so we've just got used clothes. All right, so we have piles of clothes that Jamie has brought with, <laughs> thankfully because that's what you want to use a laundry vacation for. Jamie, I think, can harvest some flowers. I think I spotted a bush over here. Ooh, yeah. Harvest, yeah. Hopefully those are flowers. <laughs> and then, meanwhile, Abigail, if you pick up this pile of clothes, yeah. Do laundry. Do laundry with the wash tub. Excellent. Now, this is going to be foul-smelling laundry, so she might have to wash it twice. This is such a cute little cabin you've made. Definitely, guys, check out the speed build. We will link it in the video description below. Here we go. Abigail, yeah, The reason that we picked this rustic setting for building this laundry event cottage is because so many of the items, like the clothes, have this really nice... Stop, stop, stop. I think she's got some in her inventory as well. Does she? Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. okay. I didn't want her to <laughs> do both of them. But it's good that she does everything. Food, water. Yikes. <laughs> 
Wow, kneeling in those wedge sandals. There we go. Ah, uh, back to your, like, <laughs> days of green living. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. That lots of the parts in this pack, there's, like, wicker chairs and tables. Mm. There's big old-fashioned tub for doing the washing. There's a clothesline, of course. Yeah. We'll it just all feels very, yeah, natural and rustic. Kind of a bit of an extension of Cats and Dogs, which also had a lot of rustic natural materials for the furniture that was added in that expansion. So you guys can see that this progress bar is going up a bit. And this is her fitness skill, I'm pretty sure. That's yeah. what they said in the live stream. Fitness skill goes up just a little bit when Sims are doing manual washing by hand like this, which yeah. makes sense. Have you ever done hand washing? Have I done hand washing? Yeah, I mean, like, not like this, yeah. but obviously in a sink and stuff. I think doing like that would be t I think if you did that, if that was your job, you'd have strong arms <laughs> and hands. Abigail, we're going to put your pile of dirty clothes out here. We're going to have Jamie grab that and do laundry. Add to washing machine. Yay! This is quite a fun little laundry vacation. I'm sure <laughs> Abigail is really happy. Getting back Jamie to nature. Well, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> was oh, like, but she gets to be outside among the flowers. This is true. Look at this beautiful front yard. But I got to say, for my, me personally, <laughs> going on vacation to do laundry is not necessarily what I would do. Did you hey. size these up? Um, they look no. big. I think that came, I think that's a triplet of plants that comes with the pack. Mm, okay. It's really nice to have groups of things. The one standing immediately behind Jamie, wash laundry. Mm. Okay. <laughs> The is sink, the, by the way, comes with the, the laundry. The sink comes with, the mirror does not, the three baskets do come with. Yeah. He's this, setting it up. What this also is a separate decorative item. Like, right now, it's a it's a one-piece thing, but you can you find can this in the store. Mm -hmm. Store? Is that what they call it? Yeah. Separately. Ooh, Abigail, what have you done? <laughs> uh, she <laughs> has just left a pile finished. of nasty clothes and water droplets okay. all around. We've got to sort this out. Let's see what she can do with it. Well, she's in she's there relaxing. doing okay. stuff. She's playing with a piece of clay. How about, Jamie, you can unload and move laundry to the clothesline. I don't think these are going to be terribly clean. <laughs> but actually, this is maybe a really good way of making dirty clothes. We were saying before, how can we make dirty clothes? It's true. Let's have Aww. Abigail replace the water for clean water. Maybe we can... Or then... just watching Jamie. Yeah. Oh, so it's really that. cool. The drips come off mm -hmm. and they're swaying a little bit in the breeze. Yep. Apparently, if you have Sway. a cat, yes. like, this is a cat-friendly cottage, the cat will pour out the water sometimes. Oh. It's pretty cute. All right. We've made this lot a uh, cat hangout for stray cats, dog hangout for stray dogs, and also just bracing breezes because this is an outdoor place. You? Yeah? Okay. Go back to live mode and hopefully cats will show up and do stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jamie's like, Abigail, what are you doing adding food to <laughs> this thing? She doesn't know. She's never done it before. <laughs> Okay, has that water been cleaned? I'm not sure. Here, yeah. Jamie Ooh, can, add can add flowers. flowers. There you go. Chamomile that he got. Nice. So I think he's like explaining to her, you can't put <laughs> trash in the laundry water. Oh, okay. Abigail, so kooky. So cute. There you go. Now what happened? Can you click on those clothes? Yes, yes you can. Yeah, and well then maybe, maybe it is worth them washing in. them again, yeah. yeah. We oh, look, have... see, you got butterflies coming off, sparklies. Yeah. This means that the water is clean and nice. So hopefully <laughs> any clothes you put in here will come out clean and nice. Wow. <laughs> okay, Lying yeah. down on the puddles. Okay, Jamie. No, nope. I think got to put them down. I think he put them back in his inventory, maybe. Makes sense. Okay. There we go. Jamie, do the laundry. Hmm. They're These already clean. are already clean. Game. They're not clean. They were washed with food water. Ouch. All right. Okay, let's... Uh... Maybe put them in the dryer. Okay. And let's put the other clothes. I think I heard the washing machine ping. Those other clothes can go into the clothesline, I guess. Yes. All right. That's Abigail's turn to do a little bit of something. I know she's relaxing. <laughs> I want those cats to show up. Oh. <laughs> oh. But I wonder if they will over here. Yeah, because it's a community lot, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We will see. But you see cats showing up, you know, in the community areas, like on the beach and stuff. Hello, bear. Okay, so, okay, I think it Abigail. It doesn't look like they're moving. Oh, no, he has to actually set the dryer. So, just like with the washing machine that we did before, you actually have to, say, dry laundry. Yeah, so yeah, it's different actions for putting in the laundry and starting the laundry. 
Hang on, clothesline? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so that is the laundry. <laughs> Let's have him click while it's moving around. Let's have him click on the dryer. I think he might be able to watch it. Mm. I don't know what this piece of clay is. Yeah, there's a multiple with. clay. I was just trying to find things that have these tiny shelves on one of the really pretty wall decorations that came with the pack, and I wanted to uh -huh. put things on it. Okay. And I put on this piece of clay, and it seems to be fascinating, these two. <laughs> See, our, our tumble dryer does not have a glass door. We can't see it tumbling around. It's a shame. I just want to point out that the uh, different swatches of the laundry machines, this one at the end here has a coin slot. So although the laundry stuff pack does not come with a laundromat or anything like that, mm -hmm. you can have the ability to put laundry machines into a public lot like this one and use the version that has a coin slot and... I don't know. I think that makes it look more like a laundry mat appropriate kind of thing. Yeah. I kind do that. of want to make a there laundry mat, <laughs> but I don't know if it would be, it would just be a big room, but it is tempting. Okay. Now All right. let's see. Fascinating. Abigail, have you done anything with those clothes? You're supposed to hang them up. I mean, no, you're busy being with yourself. <laughs> there you go. Jamie, get out of the way. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to like do a little quick, look around the cabin obviously like we said you guys can see the speed build where we've put everything together or you put everything together mm -hmm. and this house will also be on the gallery mm -hmm. it does of course require the laundry stuff pack yeah as well as things from cats and dogs but nothing major from cats and dogs yeah also obviously you need to have the pack for outside living yeah granite falls well you don't the pack you, that can comes with the, it. you can put the cabin you can put the cabin mean, anywhere. Some of the furniture, the furniture inside definitely, yeah, requires say. some of that um, outdoor living stuff. <laughs> Love it. Just want to show the roof view so you guys can see what that looks like. I love that you've made little places for the laundry, like you put the ground being worn down a little bit next to the clothesline and the wash tub. Very cute. Very, very cute. Yeah, it's... Largely a pretty simple house with a couple of little tweaks, mm -hmm. but yeah, you can see it's basically it's kind of like a cross shape, <laughs> but I quite like it, and I think it's the perfect place for some scenic afternoon clothes washing. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we've got some dogs showing up. Yes. Yeah, a whole be, bunch of dogs. A whole bunch of strays. This one dog here was the leader, and then three other dogs just turned up behind them. They're all similarly dirty. <laughs> Whoa, we got a fancy looking poodle. Oh, they just wander right on in. Okay. Well, <laughs> Hi. Gone straight to the food bowl. I was like, give me food. <laughs> Can we give one of them a bath? <laughs> I don't know. I think you have to be maybe a little more friendly with them before <laughs> okay. that can happen. Oh, here you go. Give bath. That's one she'd already introduced herself to. Oh, wow. Yeah, you look like you've been living off the wild. The call of the wild. Wouldn't it be crazy if Abigail and Jamie went away for a two-day laundry vacation and came back with four dogs? <laughs> it would be crazy, especially <laughs> because they live in a city apartment. <laughs> yeah, that would maybe not endear them to their neighbors. We've luckily, got one neighbor. I know, luckily their neighbor is Bon. Yeah. Okay, come on, which one is getting washed? <laughs> You're getting washed. You're the one who's supposed to be getting washed. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, let's have Abigail try and give this cute pup a bath. <laughs> he seems happy about it, or she seems happy about it. I think this is yeah. named Mia. Here yeah. we go. Yay! I'm just, I still think she's going to look spotted afterwards, but I really don't <laughs> know. Maybe not. This was meant to be a laundry day preview, but since these stray dogs showed up, I just couldn't resist. Yeah, we're washing clothes, we're washing dogs. Yeah. It's a washing day. <laughs> And Abigail is a vet, you know, she can't help herself. Alrighty guys, hopefully you enjoyed this really quick and dirty <laughs> look <laughs> at the laundry day stuff pack. Like we said, if you want to see some of the items being placed in this house, just check out the speed build that we've linked in the video description below. And in the meantime, if you are new to our channel, please feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 on the way. Thanks for watching.